This is the first in a series of short videos looking at the database management system Microsoft Access which comes as part of the Microsoft Office package. In this video I'll look at creating a new blank database and importing some data into a database table from a CSV file. First a note about CSV files. They're actually just text files but CSV stands for comma separated value. Although there's an Excel icon on this file, if I right click and choose to open with notepad, you'll see that it's just text separated with commas. So all of these numbers, all of these values have commas between them, which separates them. It looks a bit messy, like gobbledygook here, but if I import it into a database table, you'll see it's actually got quite a lot of structure. So Microsoft Access looks like this when you first open it. I'm going to choose to create a new blank database and before I do anything else I have to choose where I want to save this file. Unlike other Office programs in Access you need to create your file and save it before you can work with it. So I've already got a favorite folder set up uh, for a performance car database and I'm going to give this database a sensible name like uh, perform cars okay and if I'm happy with that folder location and name I can press create now this is my database and it's trying to get me to create my first ever database table and this is a good way to type in data from scratch but I don't want to do that I'm going to import my own table that already exists from that CSV file so I'm going to close this which will delete it in this access objects menu Instead, I'm going to external data to this tab, which opens these options, and then I'm importing from a text file. Okay, there's about five or six screens to go through here, but they're quite straightforward. First of all, browse to the CSV file you want to import. So that's my car table.csv. Open. Uh, I'm going to leave it saying import the source data into a new table in the current database because that's what I want to do. You get a preview of what's inside that text file so that's similar to what I showed you in Notepad. And I'm going to leave this option of delimited. It means that characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. Choose next. Okay, now if it's left as comma you can see that that gobbledygook has been broken up into separate columns which is really quite good. If I were to choose tab, it would go back to gobbledygook because there aren't any tabs. If I go back to comma, you get a nice break up here. Uh, one thing that's very important is that in this CSV file, the first row contains the headings or the field names. So I need to tick the box that says first row contains field names and it there puts them in the table properly. Press next. Now, this is about changing the field names but I think they're okay as they are and about changing the data types well I am interested in data types but I'll do that at a later stage so for now just press next and here we need to worry about a primary key okay a primary key is used to uniquely identify each record or row in your table it allows you to retrieve data more quickly primary keys are really important here if I choose let access add a primary key, it puts this ID column with some numbers. But I've already got a car ID column, so I don't need that. So I'm going to choose my own primary key and say that that car ID can be the unique identifier. So each car has its own special ID number. Next, last thing to do is to choose a sensible name. Well, this is a car table. It's a table about cars, so that's fine. I'll just press finish and then I can just press close on this last uh, window. Okay, so in my access objects I now have a car table and if I double click it you can see that gobbledygook has become much more organized and I can have a look through some of these cars like the DB9 and see how much it costs and how many cylinders the engine has. And to import the manufacturer's table um, from that CSV file is exactly the same process, just go to external data and choose text file. 